Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 10 chat. Oh hi, you're not going to hear that too uh, too many more times. It's episode 27. You're not the rest of my life. <laughs> We're about to, I'm just joking around. We're about to recap the recap episode. Oh, what fun. Actually, this was a fun episode. There was a lot of stuff It was only stuff half recap. Yeah. I was uh, surprised that we got to see the HOH so early in the episode. It feels like we haven't seen this show for a few weeks. I know! It's really hard to get back into they it, They just honestly. turned the live feeds off on Saturday afternoon, and I feel so far removed from it already. It's so I know. weird. All right, so last time, J.C. Lynn was evicted. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Remember yes. that? Oh, Betty and Josh, they're... Better get know. them out of here. I don't know why no one's going after them. Go. Did you feel like... Go to the jury house, dum-dum. <laughs> Did you feel like Helena was a little bit upset that her duo with Kevin uh, was not recognized? Yeah. I mean, obviously, she doesn't want that out there yet, but do you think she was thinking, like, we're the best duo? Because that's the vibe that I was getting. Does she know she's playing this game? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it's the final four. That's right. We've got two <laughs> duos. we got two duos. Mm -hmm. You've got Josh and Betty on one side and Kevin and Helena on the other. But Kevin and Helena think that it's them and Josh versus Betty. They yeah. don't realize that Josh and Betty have reunited. reunited. They're stronger than ever. And it feels so good. Yeah. You knew they would. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, they kept Josh because they thought that Josh was more trustworthy than J.C. Lynn. Okay, Kevin has it in his head that Josh is about to throw this Final Four HOH competition. Ah! I'm sorry, but no. That is a game costing move. That's on Kevin for believing yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I'm really, really shocked. He's. He played such a strong game all season, and then in this last few days, Kevin went a little haywire. The lights are going crazy. I know. Is 11 in here? I don't know. <laughs> all right, so it's red door time. They Remember that? They this all, like, out of order, by the way. Yeah, this was not okay. in order. The red door, it's got the countdown. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought on day 60 it was going to pop open, but bleh, nothing. Uh, a lot of us also thought maybe it would have some sort of impact on the game, like some sort of like twist an advantage or something. Or the HOH comp for this week <laughs> or... Something. But uh, all the house guests are really anticipating that countdown getting to zero. Kevin was practicing. Uh, he's sleeping closest to the door, even though he doesn't sleep in the room that's... Yeah next to the door and he's sleeping and next to josh so that he can freaking <laughs> push his way the past way. josh yeah with his trainers on he's got his little sneakers on mm -hmm. and uh finally the alarms go off <laughs> that's not what it sounded like <laughs> and it was not for the door it was for the countdown to the countdown right five minutes left so these house kids were busting they're asses. Helena wiped out. Josh wiped out. Helena wiped out. But she really hurt her elbow. She had to like put ice That's on terrible. that. She had to have it wrapped up. For something stupid like this? They get in the damn door and it's a total a Christmas story moment. Drink more Ovaltine, except it's Wendy's is so now serving bitch. breakfast. <laughs> What? That's what we were counting down to. Don't get me wrong. I used to love Wendy's when we weren't vegan yet, but like. Yeah. Come on. A commercial? Exactly. <laughs> That's wild. All right. So, so they that... got to eat their Wendy's breakfast, but then they also got yeah. to practice for the upcoming HOH competition. Wow. Mm -hmm. So they had these little tilt tables in there. They weren't actually that little. They were pretty large. Pretty long. Because they had 60 whatever slots in them. Like 65. 64, 66, it might I don't know, 65 whatever. Or 66. Yeah. So they don't know uh, exactly how this is going to go, but they're trying to practice getting the mm -hmm. ball in There were some a obstacles slot. on the tilt table. Like yeah. Like little strips of Big bacon. Pieces of egg. bacon. The little ball was actually an egg. Not a real egg. No. But... A pretend a one. Egg. Yeah. So Kevin was getting kind of pissed because... He was, he was pretty pissy this whole episode. Ain't that the truth. But Kevin was like, I can't believe Helena's not still practicing right now. Like, we really need to win this HOH She went back to sleep. 
How could she? We're so close. Yeah. Kevin, worry about yourself. All right. Well, he practiced a lot. He did practice a lot, but did it help him? We'll no. see. All right. So it was time for the HOH competition. It's called Scramble Days. And they actually had this one in that Wendy's room. Yeah. They used the exact tables that they were practicing on. Right. So you had to answer questions, and the answer was a day number that the uh, event happened. Mm -hmm. And you had to get your ball in the correct slot of like, okay, so the second time Jess was nominated yeah. day 21 or whatever. So you had to get your egg in slot 21 or as close to that as possible. Whoever got the closest gets a point. It's one of those two-layer competitions where you have to know the correct answer and you have to have the skills yes. to get it in the correct one. Mm -hmm. So whoever is closest gets a point. I wonder if there had been both, you know, two or more people getting it right, if everybody would get a point. Either that or just whoever got it first. I don't know. Okay. Not sure on that, but... Okay, so again, Kevin and to a certain extent Helena are going into this thinking, Josh is throwing the competition, one of us is going to win, this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. So then they start the competition. And Josh is clearly not throwing it. I mean, this was... Josh was <laughs> not a runaway. Not throwing it. Josh was taking, he was lathering up their asses, shaving them, and then spanking them. He was kicking some major booty. Helena sucks. She got a big goose egg. Uh, Kevin got one point. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh got all of his questions right except for one. They didn't even have to finish all of the questions because there was no F in way that they could catch up to him. I guess Josh didn't throw it. <laughs> So, yeah. Kevin's incredulous. Josh won HOH. Congratulations to him. I mean, how could he have, like, you can't throw. You can't throw floor. it. You no. can't do it. Come on. But Kevin looked pissed. This is a rookie move, Kevin. Yeah. Rookie move. So Kevin feels really played, and he's like, I just wish you would have told us that you were going to go for it. Like, there's no way that you decided in the moment to go for it. Come on, Correct, Kevin. Correct, because he's not dumb. <laughs> well, he still wasn't admitting it either. Yeah. That, you know, he yeah. didn't throw. So, Kevin just can't believe it. He got got. Mm -hmm. He's all... Helena was more accepting of it. She's like, come on, Kevin. I don't think she bought into it as much in the first place. No. So she was like, uh, duh. <laughs> I mean, you gotta take those uh, promises with a grain of salt. Yeah. Come on, Kevin. I think Kevin just got a little bit too big for his britches. I think last a lot of things were going Kevin's way, and he got a little too overconfident. All right, so who wants to see Josh's HOH room? Yeah! All right, so Josh's family's pictures, his boyfriend, mm -hmm. his baby. Yes, his letter was from Daniel, his boyfriend. His baby. Yes. <laughs> and it was so cute, and he's so supportive, and even though he was totally crushing on Kevin, <laughs> I mean, that's his boyfriend. It's all in good fun. Exactly. He also got some gummy bears in his basket. Oh. Everybody was laughing about that. I don't want a red one. Marty. <laughs> Martin. Right. So, surprise! It's time for the BB Can Awards. Yay! I gotta say. It's the 10th anniversary, by the way. Yes. I am super thrilled that we got this final four mm -hmm. to enjoy the BB Can Awards with. Mm -hmm. Josh, Betty, Kevin, Helena. That's a good group. Well... It's, it's funny because a lot of the uh, awards were awarded to the people who are left. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess they were the most entertaining. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i going to be honest. I didn't vote this year. So I didn't see how many other categories there were that were not shown. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like not that many categories were on the actual episode tonight. No, there wasn't. There was only like four, hmm. I think. There had to be more than that, right? Yeah. I I'm sure. Guess. I was hoping that they were going to bring in a former house guest to get everybody ready for this like they have in the past. But like Gary. Maybe they couldn't do that because of COVID. Or, yeah, maybe. I, re I was like, oh, can't we have the good old days when they had like, you know, they would come in, they would help them get their makeup done mm -hmm. and pick out some clothing from the rack. I and mean, I think part of that could just be because of COVID. Uh, or not. <laughs> I All don't right, know. So uh, the best slop Meltdown. Well, I just want to say, too, everybody um, got their step and repeat yes. moment in their fun outfits. And then they were all uh, drinking some champagne. Pop the champs. Yeah. Let's fill her up. 
All right, so this was also out of order. This was actually before the HOH comp. This was, I think, before everything. Yeah, this was like right after the episode. Yeah, last, that's what I'm thinking. Time. All right, so the best slop meltdown. All of the ones that they picked for winners mm -hmm. were the ones that I would have picked. Yeah. So. The fridge lockup. What do we do now? <laughs> Everybody walked in and they were just like, oh. Yeah, that was the morning before the uh, buzz killed HOH competition. And Josh had just woken up and was like, oh no. Yeah, well we saw that Josh definitely handled the slop pretty badly. I mean, out of everyone, it was like Josh and JC Lynn had the toughest time. In with all it, of these like. clips, Josh was either like, uh -huh, or... <laughs> No, he celebrated, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, so the best celebration. The have-nots becoming haves. That was epic. Also, Josh, going up to the hot tub area, seeing the food and goodies. And, <gasps> yeah. And then everybody spilled out into the hot tub area and was just like... Yeah. I think these first two awards just really illustrate how horrible slop Canadian is. slop is i mean i think american slop is gross too but like the canadian one is it looks green. like they take it to another level i don't want i don't that. know what's in there i, <laughs> I don't, don't want to know i don't know all right best blowout best diaper blowout <laughs> the betty versus moose she the betty <laughs> slaughtered him <laughs> she wrecked him poor moose he was freaking wrecked after she was done day. with him and don't talk to me what you think i'm useless <laughs> It was great. Don't pitch my name. All right. Uh, oh, that was so much drama that day. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The winner's winning moment when, oh, love this, when Betty won the POV mm -hmm. and she's like, that, Marty, I'm not going anywhere, Marty. <laughs> that was great. Yes, it was epic. That was a real, I felt like that was a real turning point mm -hmm. in the whole uh, season. Yeah. The most draw, jaw, <laughs> Jaw, draw, whatever, dropping Draw, moment. dropping. <laughs> jaw, dropping. <laughs> moment when Kevin fake self-evicted. Ah, that was Epic. amazing. That's going to go down in BB Can history as the funnest, just fun moment. It's just Josh's face during that whole thing and him being like, Kevin. No, Kevin, don't do it. Kevin, Come no. Back. <laughs> yeah. Poor Josh. He's really been through it. He's had a hand in pretty much all of the awards. Yeah. He uh, he really entertained the season, as did Betty. They were mm -hmm. all over this. The video highlight reel. You gotta love it. Mm -hmm. They usually have, like on the BBUS, they usually have this at the wrap party, but I love that they show it to them uh, during the season in Canada. Yeah. It's fun. All the, the spills, thrills, chills. Chills. <laughs> Yeah. Lots of group hugs, things Lots like that. Lots of tears. Josh and Betty cried. Of course. You know, you got those like iconic photos of like the whole cast like, I love you before we hate you. And yeah, moving in the first night. Mm -hmm. So lots of stuff in Pop there. Pop the champs. Yeah. All right. So. I thought that they were going to show stuff from like the last 10 seasons. Yeah, I thought that's what they were hawking Did they just not have time for that? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I thought they were going to have like, you know, for all time. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I would have loved to have seen some Tim in there. Oh, Tim! Yes. Best. Well, Chef's he's going to be on the next season of uh, right. Australian Big Brother. He came back. Okay. Tim! Might have to try and watch that. Yeah. All right, so it's time for Wendy's. Who's okay. your date, Josh? Wendy's wow. was all over this episode. It's going to be Helena. Wendy is like the 17th house guest. Yeah. <laughs> So it's yes. not just any old meal. Yeah. It's, oh, breakfast. Again. Again. It's available now. Did we mention? Oh, it is? How did, how did you know? Ah, do they even have that in the U.S. or is it only in Canada? I, they must have the in here. I don't know. Maybe not. But Josh got a special treat when he went to pick up his Wendy's. He got three almost winners. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because Tashan was last week. He was last season, so they needed more people. So Josh got to see Sabrina. Which is good TV. Yeah. Is that what you want? That's right. Karen. That effing Kevin Martin, that little ah! cute. And Brayden. Oh. In a very <laughs> beautiful 
I love Brayden's look. Outfit. Yes. Gorgeous. So that was so cool that Josh got to see three amazing, iconic mm -hmm. Big Brother Canada players. Yeah. And he knew it. I don't know if they told him or what, because he self-confessed uh, that he didn't even see a full episode of anything. A full season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, full episode. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is. I don't even know if I've seen a full episode. Oh, my God. All right, so. <laughs> so Josh and Helena are talking about the plan for this week. And Josh is saying he's planning on putting up Kevin mm -hmm. and Betty. Now, keep in mind... Nominations don't really matter this don't week. Don't mean a thing, just like a ring. Yeah, it comes down <laughs> to the power veto. Mm -hmm. But Josh is being a little sly here because Helena has not been nominated yet this whole season. And she thinks that's a plus. I mean, she stays it, off the block. It depends on the jury. It depends on how you sell it. But, you know, a but lot he of... he thinks it's... A plus for him. Yeah, a lot of people respect something like that. They're like, wow, she stayed off the radar. Like, nobody was targeting her. But some people would or, be like, oh, oh. no one was targeting yeah, her. Yeah, you weren't, like, she a big was factor a here. Meh. So that's what Josh is hoping for. Yes. All right, well, Betty tells Josh, Kevin is a damn villain. Betty is totally fine with going up on the block this week because, again, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, but she would like to see Kevin go. Yeah. She sees through Kevin's BS. Yeah. She knows. And Kevin is flustered because Ooh, Kevin is grabbing his straws right now. He's all over the place. He kept telling Josh, my brain is broken now because I, I thought you were going to throw anymore. the HOH comp and you didn't. And now Kevin is... Yeah. Does not compute. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So it's time for the noms. And as planned, Josh nominates Betty mm -hmm. and Kevin. And who cares? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Go out there and win that POV, right? That's right. So next time is the special eviction. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. They, and they never saw it coming. Yeah, we're going to get down to our final three. How could you not see that coming? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know at this point. But anyway. But we're going to have a day off. Enjoy yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll be back here on Wednesday. Yes, we will see you all after Wednesday night's episode. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.